All right, in this video, we're going to see another built-in function. This one is called sorted. It's different than sort, which we saw earlier. It's a list method. Sorted is a built-in function that will work um, with other, other iterable collections other than lists. For example, we could pass in a tuple. And the syntax is a bit different as well. It looks like this, sorted, and then we pass in, you know, so instead of doing list.sort, which actually will list it, or will sort a particular list. In this case, we pass in, you know, a, a list or a tuple. And I'll show you an example, but here's the first one. More numbers is just six, one, eight, and two in a list. If we pass it into sorted in the most basic way, without any other additional parameters or arguments that I'll show you, it will sort it like this. But it does not change more numbers. So it returns a copy that is sorted but notice that more numbers is unsorted still down here. So that's different than the way that sort works. So we could have nums and just do some random numbers and five, five and 23, something like this, right? And if I did nums.sort, remember, it actually sorts nums in place in the nums list. But if I redefine nums and now I do sorted nums, it returns a sorted version and nums is unchanged. Okay, so the next thing I'll show you, we can change the direction that we're sorting things by setting reverse to true. And now if we look at it, it goes in descending order from 55 down to one and still nums is unchanged. Oh, and before I forget, let me just show you, you can also do it on a tuple. I could do sorted and I'll just pass in a tuple in here, like uh, two comma one comma 45 and 23 and 99, like that. And it still returns a list, but it's important to know that it can accept a tuple, unlike dot sort, which is a list specific method. Okay, so I showed reverse, but this is where it gets more powerful, what I'm about to show you. Um, sorting numbers is easy enough, but what if we have data that looks like this? So here's our user data from our Twitter or social media clone. And let's say I want to sort them by username. It's not as easy as just saying sorted users because users is a list. And if I just try and sort it like this, it does not like that I passed in this list of dictionaries and less than is not supported between instances of dict and dict. It can't compare, you know, which one comes before the other. And it, there's no way for it to quantify it. So we get an error message. So we need to specify what we actually want it to sort on. What is the special piece of data that it should use to sort? So the, the parameter we'll use is called key. This is how we specify what should be sorted or how it should be sorted. But then the trickier thing is how we actually tell it to sort. Well, we could do the most basic one. Let me just show you the simplest one. If I just do len and it will run length len on every single dictionary. Dictionaries do have a length. Um, I think right now these all have basically the same length. It counts the number of keys, I believe. So these all have username and tweets. But if I edited them, just to add in some random keys, like A is equal, let me do color is purple. And down here, I'll say num is 10. And one more random key, this one will also have color set to teal. Okay, so this dictionary here has one key, two key, three, four keys. So it should be the longest. And then this one has one, two, three keys and all the rest only have two. Okay, so if we try sorting that way, I'm gonna paste the new users data in. And if I do sorted users, comma, key equals len, it's going to try and use the length of each dictionary to sort. And you can see it does it in ascending order. So we get things sorted by the length. The last two items in here, this is the longest dictionary, and then this is the second longest, the one with purple. So that's probably not how we actually wanna sort them. We wanna sort them by username alphabetically. So instead of key equals len, well, we're going to need to use our friend, the lambda. And let's see, what should our parameter be called? Let's go with user colon, and then we just want to sort based off of user, username. Okay, so this is basically telling it the key to sort off of 
is the user username for each user in there. I know it's kind of bizarre using the Lambda syntax, but let's see if we're right, what happens. So now we start off with Bob and then Doggo Lover, Guitar Gal, Jeff, and then finally Samuel. So we're now sorting using the, the username, but we can also do things like sort based off of who has the most tweets, who's most active. And to do that, instead of, here, I'll duplicate this so we have a record of that. Instead of user, user, username, what a mouthful, we'll sort based off of the tweets, but we don't want to just sort by user tweets. We want to sort by the length of user tweets. Okay. So now it's going to run, figure out the length. So this user has three tweets. This one has one, this one has zero. So I'll copy this over, test it out. And so we get zero tweets, zero tweets, all the way up to Samuel at the end who has three tweets and it's working. And if we wanted to reverse it, we do reverse equals true. And now we'll get a list of our users sorted from most active to least active. I have one more example. If we had a list of songs, like we do here, each song has a title and it also has a play count. How would I sort by play count? So I want to, you know, have a list of my most, most commonly played songs. Well, it would look something like this, sorted and then songs. And what's the key? If I can type key, there we go. It's going to be another Lambda and let's just call each one S and we want to sort by S play count. And that should be it. So let's paste it in. Here's our songs, songs, if I can, there we go. And now let's sort them by play count. And so we have happy birthday only has one play all the way up to YMCA has 99. So of course we could also do reverse equals true. And now we get most popular, most played songs down to our least played songs. Okay, so that is sorted. The key differences between sort is that sort is a list method only works on lists. It actually sorts in place, so it doesn't return a copy. It alters your original. Sorted will accept other iterable collections like tuples, not only lists. And also we can pass in things like a Lambda to specify exactly the key that it should be sorted based off of. So this is commonly used if we have um, objects like this in a list and we want to sort based off of a property in those objects. Cool.